All right. So guys, my name is Margaret Tamarzio. I've been with Color Street since it launched. So it's been a pretty amazing journey to see it start from scratch basically to where it is now. It's been kind of crazy to watch it. Um, I am a systems girl. I haven't always been that way, but what I've realized is that with a business like this, our hands are in a lot of different pots. So um, to keep myself organized, I love to have systems that are going to make things a lot easier. So I did a lot with Trello and I still do a lot with Trello. Um, Trello and boards both have, you know, they're both awesome and they do things differently, right, for you and your business. So um, with boards, the coolest thing is, is that it becomes a keyboard on your phone. So it's pretty, pretty magical. So I'm, um, so let's get started here. I'm, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen first to like the desktop version, and then we can, um, go over into my phone so that you guys can see like the magic of the keyboard, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let me share my screen. Oh, crap. One second. I think someone was trying to get in here and then I'll share my screen. So I'm um, boards is free at the moment. When I joined boards, um, I think it was in the summertime. They did tell me that it was always going to be free, but now I'm kind of thinking that's not going to be the case because when you hop onto boards, it will say pricing zero. So I'm wondering if they're gonna offer some like a pro plan or whatnot. But he did say if you're on boards now that you should be able to get like everything that's on there at the moment. So if you and your team members really like it, I would say try to get as many people on there as possible so that they can have all the benefits. So it's really meant for your phone because of the keyboard. But what I found was working with the desktop to get things onto the board is a lot easier because Color Street gives us a ton of like, you know, from the Dropbox, right? So I pull yeah. everything from the Dropbox onto my desktop and then I load it here. <laughs> bit, the oh, a little bit, yeah. Um, I'll try to move everybody. Um, so, so can you guys see boards? Just give me like a thumbs up on my desktop. Okay, so here it is now over on the side here. If you don't have boards, this whole entire section is going to be blank, but clearly I've been working with boards for a long time. So it's like boards on steroids. Um, so how do you even create a board? Right? So sorry guys, of course, somebody just came to the door and it's mass mayhem. So I'm guessing my husband will grab them. Um, so here it is right here. So how do we create a board, right? So you press this little button here and it's going to pop up how to add mocha. 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 Sorry guys, one second. We'll, ca we'll calm her down. She's all of 20 pounds, believe it or not. <laughs> um, here, come here, come here. She's feisty though. Um, so here it is right here. So it says my board, right? So you're going to want to name it something, right? So for today, we'll just put test, right? And it'll tell you right here, your board is empty. Um, if you look over in this section right here, that's the content. That's all the content that I can add to the board. So there's a little button over on the side here that says plus. So you're going to hit the plus button and these options are the ones that show up. So you have folder text. You can put a YouTube or Venmo link which I actually have been trying to do that and I can't seem to make it work, but they said they are working on it. So hopefully that will come soon because you know, it'd be great to be able to have our videos placed in here. You can do links, images, and PDFs. So what I usually like to do is to make a folder inside the board. So say for instance, like you have a party template that you wanna place in here. Um, you can just do party. Um, let's go back. So see how it comes up right here? So you can add folders inside the board. So let me add another one um, out here, party template. I'll just put party. Um, and what you can do is you can add text to the party. 
And I'm just, I'm just adding tests to everything, guys. I'm trying to do it kind of quick. So do you see how it pops up here? It says party and it'll say test, right? And it might not seem that important right now, but it, it's very, very important because it's going to come up on your keyboard and all you have to do is hit it. So once you have this in here, that's when it becomes magical. Okay. So um, let's go to test. So you see how it has test here and it has like these different folders. So it can keep yourself super, super organized. Um, you can actually add images as well. So let's say I'll just do, this is our sticker. So this is what an image would look like. That's gonna pop up here. You can add a PDF. Let's see if I even have one. I know I have a whole bunch <laughs> uh, PDFs. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop them, pop them in so you guys, just, guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna let that populate. All right, so um, here is your content. So remember, this is where your boards are, right? This is what's inside the board, okay? And with this one is what we're doing from scratch. Let me show you what it looks like, like for my team board, okay? So here's my team board. I have a folder for new stylist, jump starts. We have a booking blitz in here, incentives, income disclosure, nail fees, a whole bunch of stuff, right? I have videos, the nail care line about conference. Okay, so now I'm the person who kind of, I'm the admin of this board. So I can add anything I want to this board. And if I share this board with my teammates, so say I add my teammates to this board, they get all this information like this in one second. As soon as I add them or invite them into the board, they get all this information. Now, every single time I add something new to this board, they get it too. Just as long as they stay on this board, they're gonna get all this information and everything that I add to it, okay? So how about if you're like, so say for instance, you know, Barbara decides, I want Margaret, I wanna be a part of your team board. I'm gonna add her. So right up on the top here, it says share. When you click on it, you can add them via email. And now you actually have options where they can edit, they can view and share, or they can only view. Now, that's pretty important, right? Because if you have a huge team or even a team of 10 people and you have people in, um, on your board, the last thing you want them to do is to edit and get rid of something inside your board, right? Now you're like panicked. You're like, wait, where did that information go? So you can almost kind of have admins inside the board. So myself and another like sideline sister are part of this team board and we're the ones that can edit that everybody else can only view and share and that's it. So that way, everything on this board is completely protected, okay? So to me, I'm like, oh, that's awesome because you get really nervous when you put content somewhere, what's gonna happen to it, right? Or if somebody gets into it and starts moving things around because you can move these around like this, right? So um, the other thing is, is so say if I own this board, but you don't really want to be on this board or you really like maybe one thing inside this board, you can copy it, okay? So remember, here's our little test. This is our test folder here that we created very quickly <laughs> earlier. But if I'm part of a team board and I wanna add it to that board, what you do is you go up to these three dots here and you hit select keys and I can click this one. See how it has like the little check marks? If I click it, I can hit copy and it'll say, all right, where are you gonna paste it to? I can hit test and I can hit paste here. Now look at that new stylist board, uh, folder moved here to the test, right? Or copied, I don't know if I moved it or copied it, I forget already. But look at, it's everything 
that I have created inside this board has now moved to that folder. And guys, there's a lot of stuff. Look at, there's a lot of stuff inside this, inside these boards. So it's really, really cool how you can, you know, give, especially say like a new stylist, right? Information that quickly, right? Um, here's it. So here's like, so if you look over here too, it says content, that's all the content that's inside the board. They also have analytics now because beforehand they, you, you didn't know like who, who was kind of seeing what, right? It's boards is, was almost like a, a communication tool without communicating, which sounds kind of crazy, right? But as long as people are on this app and they're inside my board, they're going to get everything that I add to it. Right. So if um, our team, we do themed Facebook parties. So each month could be a different theme. So if you click on it, these are all the different themes that we have done so far this year. So think about that. If you're, if you're doing, you know, themed parties and you're asking somebody to host, you could say, Hey, I have, you know, this declutter um, template, or I have a spring fashion or a spring party. Does one of those themes, you know, interest you and all the information, every single post is in there, right? So you don't have to like reinvent the wheel. It's all the information is inside here. So um, let me see if there's anything else inside here. Cause this is just the desktop. Oh yes, there was. So post update, this is something totally new. Um, it's communication now so anybody so for instance i did the nail care line right so the nail care came out yesterday so we have everything is inside here if you check out like images all the images are gonna pop up so i wanted to let my team know that hey we added all the images to um the boards app so i put in here the nail care has been added to the team board more asked us to come you know for the launch so eight people saw this, right? So they get a notification when I put, you know, a post update here. So I type whatever I want and I just hit post and then they get the update. So let me, I'm gonna stop sharing just for a second because I wanna show you, um, okay, let's see. I wanna show you how to use it on your phone. All right, guys, sorry. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to share. I wanted to show you guys how to do it on your phone. And before I could share, like, does anybody know how, let me see if I go to here. Let's see if it will pick it up. Hang in there, guys. I'm like, I know I've done this before. Has anybody done? Like we're on Zoom, like you can do your phone. So your phone, no, oh, you can share your phone, but I, I'm wondering if it's like right at the beginning. So I probably should have shared it at the beginning. Um, but I can always just, I mean, I can just show you by switching my phone over so that you guys can see it, but it's way better <laughs> doing when you share through your, um, like you can share your phone screen, but all right. So anyways, so here's the boards app, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the boards app or actually here, let me get out of here. So this is kind of, this is what it looks like, right? It's just so that you guys can see it on, on your phone, okay? So that was what was on my desktop, right? So I'm gonna to go to my team board, right? And here's all the information that's there on the team board, okay? Now here's where the magic comes in. When you download boards, you have to add it to your keyboard on your phone, okay? So what does that mean, right? So if I'm gonna text message somebody, let me see, I'm just gonna do it to like some random. Okay, so here I am, right? I'm gonna text somebody something, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna text, right? But if you go to the globe, that's where you can change your keyboard, right? Oh, look, see, that's the boards app. That's everything that I have in the boards app. So, I can scroll down. So here's like my personal boards app, right? 
And I want to use some hashtags that I created inside the boards app. And I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I wanna use beauty and makeup hashtags. I click on it and then I click on the hashtags and they all populate. Do you see how quick and easy that was, right? Not only can you do it through text, but you can also do it through Facebook Messenger, right? So if you're on Facebook, let me just make sure, I'm like, let me just make sure it's on there. Um, the rest send it. I'll, I can send it to myself, right? So if I click on here and I go into the world map, right? It's gonna pop up boards. I can go to anything that I have. I can even go to my team page and say if I have a new stylist, Right. And she's like, Margaret, what's, you know, what's the new stylist checklist? Oh, wait, let me send it to you. Here it is. I'm going to click it and I'm going to populate it and it's going to send to her. Right. So that way that you can have like the new stylist, like we have a new stylist checklist. You click it, hit it, and it should populate, send it. Right. So it's just a click of a button. So it's so super amazing that you can have all this stuff all ready to go. So a lot of us are on the run. We're doing things like, cause we're waiting in the car, right? You can have all your answers there. Like I have the income disclosure in there, right? Because everybody's, what's the income disclosure? Like, oh, I forget, I forget. Or especially hashtags are huge for me because I'm like, I will always say, ah, I'll, you know, post a reel. And I'm like, I never posted the hashtags. I can go and edit, click which hashtags are there, and it just clicks it very easily and efficiently. So it's huge to like organize your business, but then it's very efficient to be able to get in there with the keyboard and you just hit it very quickly. And I know I was like talking like super fast because I know we want to try to do these in like a half an hour, but what kind of questions do you guys have about the boards app? There's so many trainings out there. This is kind of just like a brief overview of how amazing it is. So let me know your questions as we go. Yeah, Tanya. Oh, you're muted. Sorry, I tried to unmute. Um, if you are shared a board, but you don't really like it for whatever reason, yep. you delete it or like yep. not? Yep. Okay. Yeah. If you are shared a board but love it and want to edit it, but you were you would just copy it and then you can edit it as much as you you can edit the copy. Yeah. Yeah. So um. So here, let me go in here. So say if so, I could. A lot of people will say, "Hey, can I have one of your your team board?" And I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely." So I will share it this way. I can do it through email, or I can copy the link and I can give it to you. Then you're gonna get this team board right now. Say you only want a few things on the team board. What I recommend is you creating your own board, which I have way too many. Um, create your own board, right? And then you can go to the three dots up here, select which items you want to keep and hit copy and then move it to whatever board you want to post it on. And then you can get rid of these. That's my son. The only, the only reason why you would want to keep yourself on a board is if like, they're going to keep on adding things to it. Right. So like for you and your team, like I would recommend like you being like an admin with somebody else, because it's hard to keep up with all the updates that are coming. It's like, oh my God, it's so hard. But like I entered the nail care line last night and a lot of my girls work full time and they were like, oh my God, this stinks. Like some of them work at a hospital 12 hour days. And I said, don't worry about it. I already added all the stuff to the nail care line. So when they're at work and during lunch, they're just going to go to the app and add the stuff, you know, real time, or you can schedule it. It doesn't matter. Right. Because you can just go right into Facebook and schedule it out but it's all there for them. So they don't have to go and search for it. Guaranteed. Does that make sense? Any uh, yeah, very cool. So, so you can't edit anything unless you make a copy, but once you have a copy, you could edit anything you want. Yeah. Well, the new thing is too, like if you see how it, it says here, okay. I can add you to this board and it will say that you can edit, but that means you're going to edit for everyone that has for everyone. Yeah. yeah. But I like how it says can view and share or can view, can view only. 
this board this is new because when we first started with boards it, your board was your board and unless like you gave your person your login they couldn't do this so this is like really cool that like you and a couple of members of your team can kind of take care of like a team board so what's the difference between the, like the edit and share means you could share with someone else but the, either either one uh sorry no the um the view and share and the view only can either one of those show up on your phone as like uh, so, so view only is that they can only view it Weeks. like they can't share it so they won't have they won't have the ability to have that share on this particular folder and you'll see like if you look um over on the side do you see how it's team board here and it has yeah. it's a shared board where this one is not a shared board that's mine um I'm going to try to okay see so this one is somebody else's and i'm only in view mode or actually maybe i'm in view and share i'm actually in view and share <laughs> but that's where it will tell you what mode you're in if you can do view or view edit or edit which yeah. edit means that you kind of have everything which Pretty is really kind of nice Oh, blood pressure. But we, we have found this like to be huge for our team because a lot of times it's really hard to be like, go to that email on, you know, Monday the 8th. We just add everything to the board. And now it's really nice that they're actually, you can actually communicate now, like through this, where they didn't have that before and they get a notification. Anyone else, anyone, the cool thing for me is that it's on my keyboard. So I will put like different, like, I'm not a script person, but I have like a few that kind of get me over the hump, I would call like I would say. So sometimes I just need to like, you know, click it and then think, all right, how is this relationship? Let me switch it out. But sometimes I just need to have that, <laughs> that little something, you know? Um, so you can have those in there. I mean, we have every, we're, we're a little obnoxious, but, um, it was like, we got onto boards and we like diarrhea out of the mouth on board. So now we're trying to like, you know, do a little yeah. cleanup. Oh, am I interrupting? Uh, no, you're not interrupting. <laughs> no, you're not interrupting. Um, so yeah. So in too, like we even have like engagement posts up here. So like, if somebody is kind of like thinking like, I don't know what to post today. I'm like, well, just go into one of the engagement posts and, and do that. And so like everybody kind of likes that, but you can get so super creative with it. Um, and we, we, we love it. So I'm of course always sharing it because I'm like, oh God, it's been like a game changer. Um, especially when you're on the run or, you know, the people that work full time and are trying to do it you know, doing the business like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. Um, it can be like really efficient, but any other questions? It's 125, five minutes. That wasn't bad. <laughs> like that was fast, very fast. So Margaret, if you're yep. in a board, like I just put a graphic and I downloaded it on my phone. I'm a learn as I go girl. So as you were doing it, I was doing it. Can you I didn't see a way if I created, um, I created a folder, can you drag and drop into it or you actually have to put it in there and then delete it from your screen? I couldn't find a way. Like I had something in under the same board, but I wanted it in that other, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, um, so you had, so you, you created one board, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause are you doing it from your phone? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so you just clicked this little button here, right? Where it said create board. Yep. And okay. then I added folders it, within that board. Yep. But there was something that I didn't put into a folder. It just went on that board. I'm wondering if there's a way to drag it into the folder oh, once it's in there, or if I have to delete it and then just add it specifically to that folder. You should just be able to click on it. So can okay. you click on the, is it just like a graphic? Yeah, I deleted it and oh, I you deleted it. Okay. figure out how to do that. Was, so I deleted it. That's why I was asking if there was a way. Yep. Let me just see if I can, let's see. So, okay. So take a look at this one, right? 
Yep, so that's, that's, a, that's a graphic. So if yep. I click the three dots on the top and hit select keys, okay. it'll say, so it's going to say down, oops, sorry, you can't, you guys can't see it. All right. So here, let me cancel. All right. So here's the graphic, right? Yep. You click the three dots and it's going to say at the top, select key keys. Okay. All right. So now it's telling you, well, which one do you want? I want this one. See down mm -hmm. on the bottom, it's going to ask you what you want to do. Ah, got it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So you Thank can, you. because it's your folder, you're going to have the ability to share, move, copy, or delete. If it's not yours, you're only going to be able to copy it. Because like, right, you don't want, if you don't have the ability to edit, they're not going to want you to get rid of that or move it. So you only will have the ability to copy, which is cool because then it protects the person who created the, the board. So you don't mess it up. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And to be honest, just get in there and just start creating boards. Like think to yourself, like, okay, I would like a team board. What does my team need to know about? And that's how we kind of came up with this stuff where it's like, you know, jump starts, new stylist training, checklist, you know, comp plan, all that kind of stuff. The nail care line, you know, message, like how many times have people asking you about conference stuff, right? So we just like put everything inside there. So it's all in one spot. Cause like Facebook is great, right? And Facebook messenger is awesome. But how many times are you like, scrolling, scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back. And you're like, man, if I only just had this in one spot, you wouldn't have to scroll. <laughs> right? So it's, it's really is a time saver. If you can just take that little bit of time at the beginning to set it up and just go slow, just do one thing at a time. And you know, what's the most important thing or what's the most relevant thing. It's probably the nail care line, right? I mean, did you see all the graphics <laughs> they sent us? I was like, that's insane. But like for my team, it's, it's all in here, right? And all the information about the nail care line is all in here. So there shouldn't be any questions about the nail care line because if you're in the boards app, you have all the information is there, right? So that's kind of what I'll say to my team is that they'll ask questions and I'll say, well, it is under the boards app under nail care, right? Because it's just easier. <laughs> it's just easier. Is there a search bar? I can see how the folders build up. Um, I don't think there's really a search bar um, because it's pretty, it's pretty easy because you know, if whatever board you're going to create, if you go inside, but that is, that is a good question. It would be kind of cool if you could just go on the top and just say comp plan and that would populate, but I haven't seen that yet. Um, I'm really, I'm in contact with not the person who created it, but the go-to guy. So he gives me a lot of tips on it. And so I can ask him, so I'll make sure that I do that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got a little nugget out of that. <laughs> awesome. Um, and I'm always willing to share my team board if you guys want it. Like I said, it's diary of the mouth, but if you want it, I can give it to you guys. And, um, and then you can just copy the stuff over to your own board, but just, you know, let me know, or you guys can, if Tanya, Amanda, if you guys want it for your teams, just let me know and I'll send it to you. But um, all right, guys, it's 1.30. Power half hour, or power, no, uh, half hour power, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, until next one, right, ladies? All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.